class is really deep flexibility work and toning. Okay, we're just using our own body weight with a really strong mindful awareness of core strength, breathing, posture, alignment. We encourage people to go to their deepest point of stretching um, with really nice posture. So some people are going to be down to the floor, some people are going to be more upright. And what I want you to uh, really focus on is your own body and what feels good for you. Okay, so um, don't look around, just go inward and feel, breathe. Posture is really, really important. Um, so you want to focus on your posture and I'll cue you the whole time. All right, so the way we start, we're going to start standing and we're just going to do three breaths. So you're going to inhale and the first breath and exhale to relax your face. And then inhale, exhale, relax your neck and shoulders. And again, inhale, exhale, relax your abs, let them go. And you're kind of hopeful. So let's do that again. And now, exhale, relax your face. Inhale, exhale, relax your neck and shoulders. And then inhale, exhale, relax your abdomen. And then let's get to the work. Taking your arms up to the side, we're just going to reach side to side. Now you're not moving the legs at all, just your upper body. Side, side, side. Keep going. Go. Four. Three. Now we're going to slowly go over the top. So we go over. 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 Now put your mind on your rib cage and open that rib cage up. Every time you reach, lift, lift. So don't just move um, through the motion. Actually, you're going to go deliberate and open it up. And you can go a little slower than me if you want, really get into it. But do what you need to do to get into those ribs. Four, three, two. Now, this one, you're going to feel like you're hugging a big ball here. Open. Hug. Open. Do it again. Hug. Open one more time. Hug. Open. Flat back and up. So we're going to do three and drop. One, two, three, drop through. One, two, three, drop. Again. One, two, three, and through. Good. Nice long spine. Be conscious of your breathing. Now this time, I want you to bend your legs. And go, one, two, three, bend again. One, two, three, bend. Two more. One more. So stay down in the bend and lift and lower. So every time you straighten, you bring your chest closer to your thighs. Very actively moving that torso closer to the legs so you feel those hamstrings lengthening. Two more. One more. Now hold it here. Let your head collapse over. Let your arms relax. So you want everything to fall toward the floor without holding it up. Breathe in. Exhale. Stay there. Now you're just going to shift your body to your left leg. Put your right hand on the left. Left hand up. And then look up to the ceiling. Now here, pull your chest as close to your thighs as you get it. Let your head collapse now. You don't have to look anymore. Just keep the arm up high though. And head is collapsed. Chest to the thighs. Now take the arm like the arm collapse too. Hug that body. Breathe into it. Exhale out and hold. Good. Four, three, two, and 
to cut that thigh. Pull yourself as close to your leg as you can. Breathe into it. Exhale out of it. Now, come to center. Grab your elbows and swing side to side. Make a little bit bigger pendulum. Now, hold it center. Lift it up. Flat back. All the way up. Stretch it out. Hold, inhale, exhale, drop. Now push your way open. Thumbs down, nice open chest, open heart. Slip the thumbs. Good, drop it down. It's gonna take the neck to one side and hold. Now this is deep work into the neck muscles. So what I want you to do is put some pressure on your head with those fingertips. Take your left shoulder and push it down. Now breathe into the neck. Inhale. Exhale. That neck does a lot more work than we are conscious of. So we need to let it rest and lengthen. The focus of the class is lengthen. Now, keep pushing down. Take your chin and drop it a little bit downward. Still put pressure on that head and your fingertips. Now again, breathe in. Exhale, push up, hold it down even more. Look all the way down. Stay in that neck. It might start to shake a little bit, especially if you're not used to this. But it's releasing. Let it release. Inhale. Exhale. And let go of the hand. Slowly pull it. And right to the other side. And pull it. Take a chest. Push it down. Lay your arms down. You want to bring oxygen into the neck muscles. So push. Right shoulder pressing downward. Light fingertips on the head. Inhale. Exhale. Keep that pressure turn a little bit. Now we look all the way down. And push that right shoulder again. Ah, 
Vamos torcer para sai de 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 Try not to move toward the leg or on the leg. Set your posture. Good. Now go as low as you can. Flatten that foot that's supporting you. You can do your arms out or up if you're in the lowest position. Breathe in and exhale. Good. Nice. Very good. Now know where your belly button is. Want your body going straight to the mirror in front of you. Not for the leg that's stretching or the leg that's supporting. Straight forward. For another 20 seconds. Are you breathing? Breathe into the stretch. Breathe into the stretch. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. Now, when you come up, strong abs. Ready? Come up slow. And just shake it out a little bit. Alright, so now we have our inner thighs nice and lengthened. We're going to do a little toning there. So take it down. One, two, up, three, four, down. Up. So you're nice and wide open in those inner thighs so you can go a little deeper, right? Deeper than you really want to go. Slow.
Alright, don't be reaching for it, it should be a nice straight line above it. Now breathe in to the hip flexor stretch. So breathe in to the psoas muscle. Get air all the way to it. And exhale. Be very deliberate with the breath. Inhale all the way to the hip flexor. And breathe out. Do you know where your belly button is? Pull it in. It's fine. About another 20 seconds. Hang out there. Hi, we're almost done. If you're not used to this, it might be quick, right? Yep. And, that, and if you also might feel a little nausea or a little emotion release by opening up this hip, it's because uh, if you're not used to this, it's going to be a close energy. So let it breathe. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5 more. 4 more. 3, 2. Now we're going to come up nice and slow. Use your ass. Up. And shake it out. Good work, you guys. Breathe. Exhale. Be okay? All right, we're going to do the other side. Okay, so remember. We start up high because I care more about posture than how low you go. Okay, so it doesn't matter how low you go if you're bad posture. And so open up that hip flexor. Use those bricks if you want to go lower, but you uh, aren't ready to go to the floor yet. And then you can go to the floor if you have that flexibility. And again, you can do that full slit if you want. The most important thing is that psoas stretch. So only do the split. You can do it for a few seconds, it feels good. Uh, but only stay there if you really get that good psoas stretch in that back leg. Otherwise, come back to it and hold it. For a lot of us, that psoas is like a little ball of tightness. So this is the gift of lengthening. So visualize this muscle in here getting longer. Make it long with your mind and make it long with your breath. And you can explore it a little bit. See what it feels like to put the knee down. See what it feels like to lift the knee up. See which one is better for you. Explore the stretch. Now oxygen, air, to the muscle, to the stretch. Breathe in. Exhale. Good, again, 20 more seconds. Ten, nine, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Now just come up slow, please. Nice and slow. Take your time and shake it out a little bit for me. Shake it out. All right. You okay? We got some length in there, right? So now we're gonna do a lengthening um, balance for the core. If you need a bar for balance, you can head over to the bar so you can hold on if you need it. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a lunge. So step right, right like that. And from here we're going down and we're coming up. Down, up. Now, the same thing is true with this exercise as it was for the plie modified squat. We're not squeezing our butt on the up. That's not the goal. The goal is to lengthen and then release. And lengthen and then release. Do it again. Lengthen. And release. So go a little slower. Lengthen and release. Again, lengthen and release. Lengthen and release. So stay down there for four. One, two, three, four, and up. Now, balance comes to belly button spine, right? So don't grip the floor with that foot. Go here. Now go down. Four, three, Two, one, up. Perfect. Very nice. Again, down. No pulsing. This is a stretch. Look up. Excellent. Do it again. Down. Lengthen. Up. We do this exercise after that stretch because we just did a really nice lengthen. So we don't want to tighten it back up again. We want to lengthen it again through active motion. And then we pull it up. One more time. Down. And up. Ten extensions. Ten. In. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Belly back to spine. Five. Good. Four. Relax in here. Three. Good. 
Good. Two. Bring both the legs straight. Pulse. 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 Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Hold one. Pull it up. Hold, 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 hold. And shake it out. Good job. You guys breathe. Exhale. Very nice. Good work. We're going to do the same thing to the other side. So take it down.
walk it up. Okay, so the next exercise, and we've done it a few times, it's a, a fun upper body exercise. If you have any wrist issues, I'm just going to have you do the leg lift here until we're done. All right, that way you can totally take a thought more without the wrist work. This is the exercise where we start here, and we slower for the first set. We bend for the second set, and then we hop for the third set. All right, so if you don't want to go to the third set, you'll just keep doing the leg lift, okay? So bring your right leg up, and all you do is lower it and lift it. Down and up. Down and up. Five, up, four, up, three, up, two, up. Now the second level, bend the knee and push. Knee and push. Knee and push. Knee and push. Excellent. So you're adding a squat if you want to go to level two. Four more. Three more. Good. Two more. Now if you want to go to level three, you add a hop. And this is your last ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. One more. Let me see. You've got three. Two more. One more. And rest down. Good job, you guys. Sit back into the child pose. Catch your breath. Let's do a second set of our planks. So the same exact sequence. So we can rest our wrists on the forearms. Ready? And hold. Now, in your plank, I want you to see what it feels like to relax your shoulder blades. Take all the pressure out of the shoulder blades, put it between the belly button and the low back. Now, ready? Soft for 10. Soft. 9. 8. 7. 6. 5. 1 more. 3 more. Two more. One more. Good. Remember, if you need to rest, your knees down for a minute. Then come back up, our hip drops. Right, center, left, center, right, center, left, center, right, center, left. Five more each way. Five. Good. Four more. Nice. Good. Three. Three more. Three more. Let's that belly button. Two more strong, you guys. You're almost there. Come on. One more each way. Now we pull for eight counts. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and press it on one. Stretch it back. Can you feel the difference when you relax your shoulder blades? Is it noticeable? Should be. It kind of changes your emphasis of where your work is. All right, so come back up. Remember, if you don't want to do that wrist thing, you're going to do the other leg, the butt lifts. Otherwise, we're coming up. Left leg up this time, and it's down. Up, down, up, down, up. Eight, lift, seven, lift, six, lift, five, lift, one more, three more, two more. One more. Now lower the knee. Down. Up. Down. Up. Down. 
different rotations in the core work, okay? A lot of times if you aren't used to using your hips a lot, um, or just acquired an aging process, the hips get a little crunchy. And you'll hear popping in the hips. You want to do it anyway, because you want to get the fluid back into the joint, okay? If people hear a pop, they stop doing it, and then it gets drier and drier in there. So you want to get fluid in there. I'll show you a modification if it's too painful. Uh, but Try to move through the range as good a range of motion as you can. All right, so we're going to lay on our back. No hands under the butt because we want our back to work. Okay, so fingertips out to the side. And the first exercise is lowering the legs and lifting it back up. Now, if you're feeling strong, you can go as slow as you want. If you need a modification, spend the knee. Your breath, you exhale on the back, on the way back up. So you, you breathe out here. So it's down, down, and up. All right, so we're gonna do two more of these and we're gonna get into the hip rotation. One more. So we're going down. One, two, then we open wide. One, two, open wide. Again, one, two. Now this is what I would do if you're feeling that hip pop. Just keep it a little smaller, so shorten the lever by bending the knees. But still let those knees go away. Open those hips nice and wide. Four more. Around. Really wide, you guys. Let it open. When those hips open, make blood flow and oxygen to that area that stays closed a lot. Now hold it here, breathe in. Exhale, now let's reverse it. Go around and down, and then come through center. And around and down, come through center. Again, around and down, come through center. Five of those, around and down. Exhale, up the up. Four more. Three more. Again, go to your furthest point, which is different for everyone. One more. Now hold it here. Now you're gonna do both, okay? So you can go around and down, and around and up. Eight of those, so it's eight, and up, and seven, and up, and six, and up, five. Come on, you guys, four more, let me watch you. And up, good, three. And up, two more. One more, and rest, very good. Has anybody noticed an improvement in their hip joint flexibility during that exercise? Yeah? Yeah. You can, right? It's not popping as much, right? Yeah. Excellent. All right, so we're going to do a hamstring flexibility exercise, dynamic hamstring stretching. I call it rock head training, because we're doing hips, okay? You want to keep your tailbone on the floor, and uh, try to move to as big a range of motion as you can. So your left leg is bent, your right leg is pointed and straight, and it's point flex. So your focus is on lengthening that hamstring back and thigh every time it moves towards you. And this exercise, you just want to breathe normal. Deep inhales and slow exhales. Point up, flex down, we'll do 10 more like that. Going, tailbone heavy. Three more. Two more. Now you're going to keep it moving, but reverse the foot. So flex up, point down for 20. Flex up, point. Thank you. 
breath is normal. Elbow is heavy. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, nice job you guys, 4, 3, 2, 1 more. Now keep going, but flex that point down. So reverse the foot. And the foot is just to keep your mind active and engaged. Long with the focus on the hamstring. Slow exhale. And I want you to imagine you're inhaling your favorite color all the way to your feet. And exhale slow. Inhale your 
your favorite color to your fingertips. And exhale slowly. And inhale your favorite color to the top of the head. And exhale slowly. your favorite color into your belly button.
notice that color in the palms of your hands. And as you go into your day, share that color. Thank you. 